Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I've heard uh, that uh, there's a bit of a meetup going on in Antalya. Yay! So we're just heading that way. Hopefully there's going to be loads of people there. Um, it's going to be interesting to hear everyone's stories, traveling in Turkey, find out where they've been, you know, all the little spots they say, oh, you've got to visit here and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I can't wait for that one. However, more importantly, Philly and Keely are outside with Mandy and I've heard something about they've made me breakfast. They're vegans, so breakfast. Let's go see what they've got. Mm. So what have we got here then? This is uh, coffee with pomegranate molasses. And then we who like vegetables have got cucumber and lettuce, but not uh, you. What, what were you saying now? <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you, do, you like vegetables? <laughs> really? Vegans that like vegetables? <laughs> oh, what who'd have thought it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty much like all the food that we tried last March. So it looks like a lamb kofta or a meat kofta. <laughs> it we smells nice according to Coop. Does it smell nice, bud? Coop's after one as well. Yeah. It's actually right called there. Durham. Well, Durham, yeah. I don't okay. know what it's called. But the point is, when it's, it's not meat. Pastry. Yeah, it's like Durham when it's in the pastry. But it's well, that's like that's the thin bread that we really like. Oh, okay. Look at that one. I was thinking Durham's the currency in Morocco, isn't it? Oh, it yeah, it is. is. <laughs> Just Maybe that's what them. they eat. How many dirhams is that? Ooh, I'm not hungry today, so no, just one. <laughs> right. And John just goes for it. John just goes for it without me saying anything. Why not? What do you think? Mm. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you lot sold it way too oversold. Oversold, mm. oversold it. You'll have a bite with the cucumber and lettuce in it. I think it tastes lovely. I've obviously not had it without. More texture. Yeah, I think it like lightens it up more. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For a point of reference. I've just got to try this one. Mm -hmm. So that's a plain one. Mm. Oh, it's still so tasty. You think? But, yeah. Definitely better with the cucumber and the lettuce. Yeah. I would say it lightens it up. Mm -hmm. It's lovely because it's so stodgy, I think, as well, isn't it? It's like, it's a substantial bite. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Num num. Mm. Thanks, guys. No problem. I swear. We're giving you vegan insights in Turkey.
out over the sea, big mountains, nice twisty turns, get your knee down if you've got a bike. would have been a great park up but we've got no signal unfortunately but despite that Mandy's feeding the uh, strays treat lady it's um, yeah a bit of editing day today so definitely needed internet is a shame because otherwise it's a very nice location fairly flat and flat and level car park not a lot going on but there's a bin there at least and it took us ages to get down here. But never mind. You can't have them all, can you? Well, hello and good morning. We had a day of it yesterday. Cock, I can't help myself. Um, you know, first world problems and all that, but we had a few park ups planned that we wanted to go to and each one of them, because the weather had turned a little bit and was a bit wet, we thought we were just going to be sat in a pile of wet sand. <laughs> so uh, we had a bit of a drive on our hands and this is park up number four. I mean, it is far from ideal. I'll just give you a little little spin round now. It's a big coach car park, but this is acceptable. As you can see, it's not level, um, <clears throat> but it did the job. The first time in our time in Turkey so far yesterday, we found signs everywhere saying no campers, caravans or tents allowed. And I think that was in cash. Um, we tried by the marina, we tried, there was a lovely little restaurant thing that was, that was actually on park for night. But there's new signs everywhere saying you are not allowed to make camp um, or camp in your camper van in any of these places. 
And with it being out of season, we kind of figured, should we try it? You know, a lot of places do. It's just like in the height of season and it being surrounded by campsites. Can understand them not wanting people to be parking and laybys and things. But all the campsites are shut. So there's literally leaving nowhere to go. The two or three little places that we saw that you could probably get away with parking already had camper vans and motorhomes in them. So it was seemed, seemed to be that some people would do that, but we were unsure. We were a bit cranky and a bit hungry. Um, so yeah, so we just carried on driving. We got to see some beautiful roads on the, on the drive, I must admit. We drove through some tiny, tiny little villages in the mountains, but still the first one where it was just a little bit hard to find a park up. But we're here. I'd say we slept okay, but we literally have had the worst night's sleep, I think, since we've been in the van. Because if it wasn't for just slight noises of going on, these cats and dogs, and as you can hear, there are cockerels. They woke us up at half past three this morning. Not that I think we went to sleep much, but we had a battalion of mosquitoes at us. I mean, you see there, I've been bitten lovely and on my hand and on my foot. So uh, literally, as soon as we squished one, another one came out and all you could hear all night was as I'm whizzing past your ear. So yeah, we're gonna be cranky. Even Koopy is cranky today. So yeah, that's gonna be some fun. So we're heading towards Antalya. Um, it's a three hour drive to get there, So, but we've got a couple of days before we need to be there. So uh, we're gonna crack on, see if we can find somewhere along the way and if we do get there, there's a 5M Migros, which is huge. So I'm going to go in there because there's a couple of bits I think I need um, and see if we can get some uh, bits of food to do for the weekend where we have a little meetup. I think it's cool that the Turks love their 1970s and 80s cars. They might have old Renaults that you see in Fiat's. I've even seen some Mark 1 and Mark 2 Cortinas, Mark 1, Mark 2 transit vans and stuff like that. That's just brilliant. And they looked after as well, haven't they? Yeah, they're pr proud of the car. It looks really good. I've even seen them on forecourts of like you know garages up for sale and that. They look pristine. Mm. I think they're all running LPG, so that's probably makes them more efficient. A bit more of a resale value, but yeah, so cool. Another brilliant fill up at Shell Garage. I think when you fill up, because it's all service fill up, mm. I think when you fill up, the guy gets something. Uh, okay. That's how he gets paid, maybe. So you have to give him your ticket as you leave. Get to get him. Oh, where are they all going? It's like a dance. So, yeah, what was it? 28 quid for 32 litres. <laughs> you just couldn't make this up, they're all just going <laughs> everywhere. Oh, just try in front. What, they just don't give a shit. <laughs> Honestly, the rudest freaking drivers ever. Oh, okay. I just wanted to point that out there that it's got. um Put your own oil change service thing in. Gone, you're okay? Yep. yep. So, yeah. Yeah, Turkish drivers, especially the men. Absolute oof. Yeah. Turn right more. towards 50, yield Jadetti. Now I'm going to stick on the D400, love, because you're stupid and you think the road's closed and it's not. So on a way to try and get awning cover, because obviously it is the weather we anticipated, we're trying to get the vans parallel okay, okay. so we can get the, the awnings with no gap in the middle. Not the other left, and front now. <laughs> 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 just the feet, not as much, just the feet. Apparently Igor's got a different left than the rest of us. Straight, no, he's got the right left. Straight, yeah, the right yeah, left. Kev chose the wrong left. Oh, right, okay then. Straight. That's not a good fashion. It's a good fashion. Left, straight, 
precision this, isn't it? How are they doing? Oh, it's getting good. Left, 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 left. There we go. Kind of set up all right. I think that'll do for now. As you can see, oh yes, thunderstorm, lightning, and about uh, 80 millimeters of rain forecast. So, what would John be doing in this rain, apart from washing the bloody van? Hiya! What, you're mad! What the hell are you doing? The van needs a clean. It does need a clean. It's got a free car wash. I mean, it does need a wash. You're right there. Yeah. Right, well, um, I don't need a wash. Okay. So I'm going under the awning. Right, Have fun! Yeah. We had a brief respite of bad weather and then it really just came back in abundance. Hailstones, everything. So we decided to nip to the local little cafe restaurant, get out of the way, get some food. <laughs> folks what a lovely day it is look blue skies can't be bad especially after what we uh, put it with yesterday pretty monsoon weather again it's just really nice everyone's got together it's nice to be able to uh, to speak English with people um, just obviously having a chat and stuff like that is good but sometimes it's just nice to have a more relaxed chat because everyone's speaking the same language so yeah more of the same today chatting catching up with everyone, sharing uh, hints and tips about where to go, uh, where we've been, you know, where's the best bit and all that kind of stuff. And which is the best part of traveling and meeting up with people really is uh, sharing that kind of information. So we are at our little meetup. We have got really good numbers. I don't think you see there's two, two more vans down at the back there. Um, some brilliant people here, people we've met before and people we have not met before. So, uh, yeah, it's lovely. A couple of stray dogs to keep us occupied. This little beauty here, you see in the middle. Uh, the first night she decided to sleep underneath our van and wake us up barking maybe once every half an hour. However, she's still beautiful. She still gets scritches and, uh, and treats and stuff. So yeah, good morning. Um, so yeah, so last night we had a lovely night. It was absolutely hammering it down. I don't think I have seen rain like that in Turkey. It was ridiculous. We were all hiding under awnings for a while uh, just to try and stay out of the rain. And then uh, Cherry and Marco had gone for a walk and found a bar about 800 yards away, 800 meters away even. And um, 
and yeah so we all uh, ended up jumping in vans as many as we could fit in a van and uh, went down to the bar and stayed there for the night and we had meze and food and beer and live music and a bit of dancing and uh, yeah it was amazing so we didn't record much in there because we were literally just enjoying all the company and all the conversations and all of these new people that we've not seen before so so yeah absolutely wonderful night and the sun is out today so what a difference a day makes and uh, hopefully later we're all gonna go in for a swim so we're on the beach and um, I'm not brave enough to go for a swim <laughs> nor am I <laughs> and I wouldn't use the word brave no and uh, other people are and as you can see with being with people with social media everybody's got the cameras out to capture the fun spectacle spectacle so yeah um i was going to go in and i changed my mind Well, the weather came back in a vengeance and a few of us decided that we were going to order Domino's pizza. Um, we didn't want the delivery guy to go through all the monsoon water that was outside of the car park. So uh, Ian decided he was going to drive. I'd be a co-pilot and we'd go and pick up the pizzas. So yeah, this was an epic expedition on its own, just to get through all the water and just the crazy rain. And there we go, back in the van, after driving through the monsoon weather. Got some souffles, some nice pizzas. Yeah, looks good to me. And the guys at the pizza place were really happy to tell us when I asked him, is this weather normal for Turkey? And they said, yeah, January. So um, yeah. Happy travels for the next month for us, maybe. Oh, that souffle. Domino's souffle, amazing. Oh my God, that was such look a, it. Oh yeah. Such a great idea to get pizza. Oh, I'm glad that- One uh, for court, sat on that one. Yeah, but I'm glad that <laughs> Ian went, well, you know, Ian chose to uh, be courier, because those roads were manic. Mm. Right then, I think that's it for today, folks. <laughs> Souffle has finished us off. Mm. It's still raining, by the way, as you probably worked out. And obviously, it's still thunder and lightning. Um, so, um, yeah. Not sure we'll be uh, doing anything other than uh, playing card games tonight. <laughs> no point putting the telly on. Can't hear it. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to a nice, noisy car park full of... But what's that thing? That's a jackhammer, isn't it? On the end of a, on the end of a JCB. JCB or something. So that's good. So some of us are up drinking coffee, and some of us are exercising like mad people, and some of us are up on a roof. I think we're all on a far different directions today. We're going east. Um, the weather forecast isn't great, so bear with us. It's not so much drone flying and cinematography uh, options available to us when uh, when the weather's naff, i.e. when it's raining like it did last night. It was absolutely biblical. So all I can say last night, hailstone, monsoon rain, and the only thing that helped was the nipping out for the pizza which is a good call. I think that was Courts and Meek's idea, Domino's Pizza, and uh, obviously went in the van with Ian. We're off east now. We've kind of worked out we've got um, probably, um, I think it's six days worth of little short bits of driving um, to get all the way over to what has been told by everybody we've met, um, the food capital of Turkey, Gaziantep. So, um, and that is quite close to the Syrian border as well. Try not to fall from make believe, but this is something else. I better be careful, you're beautiful, and I'm going down again. If I jump, I will fall, guaranteed. Twenty seconds later, I 
you know us. Not only do we like Mackies, but we use Mackies as a real test of how far your money goes as <laughs> the country you're in. Yes. Well, we've been asked to do it as well, you see, so... People have asked us to do it. So it's only right and proper. It's like um, it's a community service it that we're providing. It is a community service. Wow. Oh, big drink! I mean, that's a large drink. That is a large. There's a can of coke, and that's a lot. That's a tall can of coke, in comparison. So. So, hang on a minute. Move your fist. So. So. Oh, like move my fist up, boobies. Um, <laughs> large fries. Yes. Super large fries. Wow, they are. They are large fries. Super, super large fries. <laughs> Oh my gosh. A, a bucket, bucket of, of nuggets. Yeah. Two plain double cheeseburgers. Yep. And a Big Mac. Okay, folks. How much in pounds do you think all that cost? Right, so how much was it? £9.82. £9.82. <laughs> Bargain! That's our little meetup finished off as we head over to the east. Join us next week as we experience our very first earthquake living in the van. See you next time, guys.